What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Officer Show. Today we're looking at the new LEGO Harry Potter house banners. So since there's not a whole lot to these sets, we're going to do two of them at a time. So we have the Gryffindor house banner set 76409 and the Slytherin house banner 76410. So these are new sets they're releasing for Harry Potter that I actually think are pretty neat. They're very similar to the book builds, which I bought all of them but didn't really like them too much. So when they announced these, I'm like, oh, I'll probably just skip out on these. But after seeing what they're comprised of and everything, I was like, oh, I'll give them a try. And so I bought one, really enjoyed it. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy all of them. But it's a neat feature. So they're house banners. And as you can kind of see on the box here, it has like a nail or screw up there top that you can hang them up. So they have little hangers. So you can have them all closed up and have just little banners that you hang up. Or you can open up to have little play features to be each of the common rooms, which I think that's really neat. So each set comes with three characters. And then like I said, it has the opening up into the common room. We have lenticular images, which I'll show those, which is another thing I really like about these sets. So overall, I just really enjoy these. So you can see they do have a piece difference. So the Gryffindor is 285 pieces compared to the Slytherin 349. So pretty decent piece difference there, but they're both $34.99 retail. But like I said, after getting them, I do really enjoy them. So like I said, we have our house banners for Gryffindor and Slytherin have the designs there really neat with some of the features and stuff you're going to see inside. And then we could go around to the back, which yeah, I think if we twist them this way, you'll see the inside of the common room. So you can see the Gryffindor common room there and our three characters, which we have Harry Potter, Angelina Johnson, and Neville. And just looks pretty nice like I said trying to recreate the design of the Gryffindor common room there and then you can see again the 3D images I'll show you with the stuff in the back and then all four of the banners there that we'll look at so there we have the Gryffindor and then we have the Slytherin which looks pretty cool so very interested in this where we get Draco Malfoy, Pansy, Parkinson and Blaze Zabini so very cool to have that there as well so overall like I said after getting these I do really enjoy them they're in sets I would say not necessary so if you're trying to save money or anything I would not worry about spending your money on these but if you have the money I would recommend at least trying to say if you've sorted yourself into a house at least getting your house tested out see if you like it but overall like I said once I had one I really enjoyed them but enough with looking at the boxes let's look at the sets starting with the minifigs so here's the six minifigs so we have our three Gryffindor and three Slytherin so we'll start with Gryffindor of course with Harry Potter so he's got the full body so the full legs and everything so more of his older years so we have Harry of course we've seen him multiple times but he's got the shorter but still messy hair of course his glasses scar up on his head hidden under the hair he's got a little smirk there and on the back we have sort of like an angry printing and then he's in the Hogwarts like student outfit so he's got the gray sweater on that's unbuttoned with the white shirt underneath you can see the Gryffindor tie of the red and yellow stripes and then the black pants and his brown wand so just kind of like your standard Harry just a more relaxed version and then we get Neville again in the Hogwarts outfit but this time he has the robes on and stuff so he's got the black robe over the top with the Gryffindor crest on his chest again the same gray sweater and button-up shirt with tie and everything then we get Neville's face so he's got his buck teeth and then just kind of his dopey looking face with the same hair as Harry Harry just in brown this time and on the back he's got I guess more what looked like a worried face and I like the back printing with the hood of the robe there and then he's got the black legs and a brown one as well and then we get Angelina Johnson now she is in the Quidditch outfit so each of these sets come with one character in the Quidditch outfit and since she was in the Gryffindor team we have her in the Quidditch outfit so she has the Quidditch jumper there so it's just a red sweater with the yellow stripes has the Gryffindor crest on it and then she's got the darker skin tone so it's hard to see some of her facial features but she just has like of course the little eyelashes and lipstick there the long black hair with a smiley face printing there on the back then she's got the tan pants again a part of that Quidditch outfit and then she has a tanned one there then moving over to the Slytherin of course we got Draco so he's in the Hogwarts outfit as well again fully dressed up with the robes with the Slytherin logo on his chest and then the gray sweater with the green stripes white button-up shirt and the green and silver tie again again black legs and the hood on the back with his normal face printing there and his swept over blonde hair and a worried face there on the back and then he's got the black legs and his black wand and then we get pansy parkinson which became draco's girlfriend later on in the series and she's in what i'd say the more relaxed hogwarts attire so she has the gray sweater for slytherin with the green stripes and green tie and everything but hers is all buttoned up as opposed to what harry's was she has a kind of like an angrier look on her face like not very happy but has the eyelashes and lips and stuff and of course the nice hair with the bangs in the front and the ponytail in the back and on the back she's got an angry face because she's a very angry girl black pants and a dark brown wand and finally we have blaze zabini which again we got in the room of requirements set and overall looks pretty good so he has the Quidditch attire on as well so the green sweater with the silver stripes the Slytherin logo and the tan pants and then his face as well you can see him better than you could Angelina with his shorter hair no printing on the back once again because you would see it and then a dark brown one for him as well so those are the six characters and that's one thing I liked about these set was getting the different characters so I've never had Angelina or Pansy Parkinson so getting those and then from the other two sets the Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff we get a good number of new characters there 
as well. So the minifigures is always a big reason for me to get the sets and these continue on with that as well with good character selections. And then we have our two house banner builds and as I mentioned you can see the little hooks up top so you can hang them up on a wall if you want which is really nice to have all the banners hung up and stuff. Just look really nice and I love that additional feature but we'll start with looking at the Gryffindor. So of course we have Gryffindor in the common colors of the red and gold so it looks really nice with their logo with the lion representing Gryffindor and just looks really nice. So like I said really nice to have you can hang it up there and then have it up on a wall. Just looks relatively nice. Of course it's all Lego built so some of it doesn't really function especially the lower like pieces down here here because of the way the set works kind of always get like bent in and stuff so it kind of throws off the look but as long as you keep it straight and everything it looks really nice there but as I mentioned this is a play set so we can open it up to reveal the common room and then the bottom little flaps here fold up to give it like stability to stand up so here we have our common room and I think it really carries off the look looks really nice so very similar to how it does in the movies and we have a lot of features spread about so we have our two chairs which are just kind of off to the side here so you sit them there just so they can like stay with your set and not fall off when you have them in the banner mode so we have two like chairs there we have a chest set down here in the fireplace which you can you have to just kind of get it slid out so we have a little table here with the chest set on it that you can set up and then we have little features just set up all over so we have some candles so again with these you can pop them off and just set them around the room where everyone just to have little features and these were kind of shown on the front of the box so you can just sit these and move them around I like we have a nice little built-in bench over here and then maybe another little bench with a bookshelf and we have books designed like those old book sets have that design there and we'll go and start on this side so we have a little shelf piece that has a letter and a bottle of ink and a quill so you can write letters and stuff picture up on the side don't know who this is supposed to be but it has like a Gryffindor little logo on the back so some sort of Gryffindor and then in the back we have the staircases going up into the bedroom and up here we have a golden snitch and then a trophy up here I think a house cup and this has a lenticula I'll take it out of the back so you can see all it does because some of the things are hidden but really nice to have the lenticular up at the top we have a little Thestral up in the windows it looks like of course more red and gold for the Hogwarts a picture of Godric Gryffindor a broom that you can easily take off as well as the sword of Gryffindor and a piece of chocolate there then we get the fireplace and that has a nice lenticular feature where it has the face of Sirius Black so that's pretty nice and then of course the fireplace continuing up and then over on the side we have the outline of Hogwarts so the other building sections of Hogwarts there in the stained glass window so overall just looks really nice like I said just carries out the look of the common room very much so that's one thing I like most about these now the back like I said does have these lenticular pieces that we can just slide out and they're just held on pretty simply in the back but there's the full lenticular so you can see like down here hopefully I can show yeah you can see serious faces there in the fireplace we have this little pot that's kind of hidden so once again things I don't like they're kind of hidden around in there but it has a Cornish pixie coming into it we have stairs there that sort of move depending on where you're at and then we have that house cup so you can have first place or fourth place there so that I like the different sizes in the cups I like the flapping of the golden snitch there Godric Gryffindor kind of is touching his head like something's happened so I like that lenticular and like I said the windows up top so we have a Thestral like it's kind of flapping there like moving along and everything so pretty fun overall like I said the lenticulars here is one thing I really like about this set but it's unfortunate that most of them are kind of hidden and you only see certain sections of them so it's like why they put all the details if you're not going to be able to see them all but once again a thing I really like about this set and just like the books once you're done you can put it all back together so again you just put everything where I had it so you put the candles back here right in front of the stairs you put the chairs right in front of the sections here and then you have to hide the chessboard away and it just kind of slides up into the front of the fireplace and just sits right there and then you just fold it up so you gotta of course fold these flat pieces down here and then fold up you do right and then left and it closes our banner back up so pretty nice once again like I said I like the whole function it's just kind of like the book ones you know there's not a whole lot to it but I like having the lenticular it makes and adds a nice little feature to it and then being able to close it and have a banner design like this that you can actually hang up is really neat so it serves at least more functions and everything so that's nice for the Gryffindor but then we also have the Slytherin to look at so the Slytherin banner has the green and silver color which looks nice again with the logo of the snake on there so it looks pretty cool and again with the banner we have the hook up at the top that hang it up and just overall looks nice but we can open it up to see the common room so we'll open up the left and then the right and see our common room design inside and with these we do have some furniture things once again so over here on the right we do have a chair that we can just sit there and then on the other side we have a set of steps that we can take and place up top here so it's the steps going into the doorway to be able to get in and out of the common room so I like that design with the additional little steps just thrown in there so we have designs all around so we'll start with the right again so over here we have a bookshelf which looks like some little stuff so we have a horn and a crystal ball some books on the shelves so again with the designs like the books we got with those old sets we have one of the creepy hands like that grabs on the hair and stuff and then up top some pictures so it looks probably some different like house and quidditch sort of awards and stuff like that and a picture of Snape so 
nice that there's a picture of their headmaster in there. And as we move over there, right in the center, we got a picture of Salazar Slytherin with a snake wrapped around him, so that's nice. Down here, we have some candle pieces, again, like in that Gryffindor one. You can move out of the way. It's just hard to get them out from back here. So you can just take and set these up, and I like the green like bulb designs and stuff, so you can set those around the room. But then we have a picture of underwater, because if you didn't know, the common room is located in the dungeons, and part of it goes out to under the Black Lake. So you can see the Black Lake in the window, so we have some of the Black Lake there. And again, I'll pull the lenticulate out so you can see that. Then we get like a little bookshelf with some stuff on the back in there, and then a little door that opens and should have a lenticular thing in there. If Tom Riddle was here, so pretty ominous. And then we get their fireplace, and again, has a little section that we can pull out from the fireplace. So it has a little display with the locket of Salazar Slytherin, and then like a little cup or something on this like little end table. Again, you can set with the furniture. And then we have their fireplace. Up above that, we have a cup and a quill. We have a skeleton head, which is kind of creepy. And then the fireplace has the Slytherin logo above it there, so that's pretty nice. And up top, we have some snake designs. Of course, more Slytherin stuff built in there. Some green curtains on this side, and then some weird creepy eyes that kind of move there on the other side. Oh, and we have a table in here as well that we can pop out and see more of the Black Lake. So overall, pretty nice once again. So like I said, we can set up like our little furniture or room design, whatever you want to call it, with setting all this stuff up here. Again, this is the stuff I don't like as much because you just have to set it or do whatever with it. But it's fun that it includes more instead of everything just flat against the wall. And then we can pull out the lenticular. So we'll look at this and see what's going on. So we have the fireplace. It doesn't look like anything's going on besides the fire flickering. Then we have that bookshelf and it has the Tom Riddle that disappears and reappears. We have the black lake there. So a nice big black lake section. So you can see like the archway in the background maybe from the second task and stuff. But you can see the fish swimming around and everything with that. We have the portrait of Slytherin. So there he is with the snake there like sort of wrapping around like giving him a hug. The top of the fireplace where we have a book and a vial and then of course that little creepy section with the eyes that sort of stare and move at you and then this one just has the curtains move a little bit back and forth so not as much to this. I do like the underwater section that's like one of my favorite things about the Slytherin common room is being underwater and having the underwater section. I thought we'd have like the squid arm or something coming up and hitting the window. A lot less going on with this lenticular but still nice but it just annoys me like I said how much is hidden. So that is everything for the Slytherin common room and again we can place everything back so we got to put the little lamps down here in the window. Then we can put the table up in the little window section there which is kind of fun that it gets stores in there. Put this little side table into the fireplace and again put the chair over here and you have to place it upside down to fit there and undo the steps as well to place them back in front. So that is it for the Slytherin common room and we can close this up as well. And again you shut right and then left so we have that. And then the set also does along with the minifigs come with a snake as well. So of course we always have the snake so we get the little Lego snake thrown in here that we can place on display with the figures if we set the set up. But overall it looks nice and I do want to show the back of the set just so you see and it just has Lego pieces holding on the lenticular so we have these little pieces that are kind of pressed close to again so you can easily slide it in and out from behind there. So just wanted to show you that what it looks like from the back and how that is holding in and then you can see the little grip there at the top to be able to hang them up and everything. So once again pretty nice to have both these sets of the Gryffindor and Slytherin of course are common enemies but thought it'd be good to do the first two sets here together of those two and like I said good sets all together with the lenticular and everything and the common rooms I like that and then all the figure selection that we get. So overall pretty nice sets I must say just all together. But that's gonna be it for our Lego Harry Potter house banner sets of Gryffindor and Slytherin. So like I said not the best sets ever especially like if you don't want to spend the money you don't want to waste it. These are sets you can easily skip on but I did really enjoy them and like them much more than books. Of course with the being the common rooms you can only have four so we have the four that are going to be made. Where the books they did different classrooms so you had more selection to do there but like I said I do really like these especially like I said with the overall looks of the common rooms. They look how I pictured they would or how we've seen them in media and everything so that's really nice and then being able to also have the closed up banners that you can actually hang up is a nice little function of these sets as well. So overall, I did really enjoy these Lego Harry Potter sets. So let me know what you thought of them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this review, let me know with a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.